What is dopamine? Not everyone knows what it is, and many people think it's mostly connected to drugs. And some think it's only for motivation. But let's learn about it a little. There are three neurotransmitters that are called catecholamines, and dopamine is one of them. The amino acid tyrosine is the forerunner for the catecholamines. The catecholamine neurotransmitters are dopamine, neuroepinephrine, and epinephrine. This trio is found in the regions of the nervous system. Dopamine neurons are concentrated in several areas of the brain. Dopamine is already known to play important roles in thinking, memory, motor control, motivation, reinforcement, arousal, and reward. However, recently, researchers have shown that dopaminergic neurotransmissions play a central role in modulating pain perception and analgesia with certain parts of the brain, including the insula, thalamus, basal ganglia, and anterior cingulate cortex. But what causes dopamine levels to surge? Examples of what can cause the dopamine levels to surge is food, drugs, and interestingly, massage therapies. Dopamine causes you to want, desire, seek out, and search. People with low levels of dopamine may be more prone to addiction. A person seeking pleasure via drugs or alcohol or food needs higher and higher levels of dopamine. The mesocorticolympic dopamine system is interrupted during drug use. Users short-circuit the system and the drugs are reinforcing addiction. Under normal circumstances, the system functions to reinforce adaptive behaviors. Foods that are high in sugar and fat increase dopamine levels for a short time. This spike and the following dopamine crash can lead to addictive behaviors towards food. Furthermore, human brain imaging studies strongly support a role for dopaminergic circuits in the control of food intake. Massage therapy even alters dopamine levels along with serotonin levels and decreases noradrenaline levels and modulates the immune system. It is also known to stimulate dopamine release, promoting sedative effects and well-being. Serotonin acts via dopamine release to modulate norepinephrine levels with resulting decrease in patient anxiety. Addictive drugs have in common the fact that they act on central dopaminergic system in the brain. By studying how synapses are modified by drug exposure, researchers have gained insight not only into the neurobiology of addiction and its possible treatments, but also into how the brain creates memories. It is safe to say that the drugs that act directly on the dopamine synapses in the brain are cocaine and amphetamines, to name some. It is certain that stimulant drugs such as cocaine and amphetamines that are made of dopaminergic and noradrenergic systems give drug users a feeling of increased alertness and self-confidence and euphoria. Also, a decreased appetite. A powerful central nervous system is stimulated with cocaine and amphetamine, and they both exert their effects at synapses. Drugs such as cocaine can cause a big, fast increase of dopamine in your brain. That satisfies your natural reward system in a big way. But repeated drug use also raises the threshold for this kind of pleasure. This means you need to take more to get the same high. Meanwhile, drugs make your body less able to produce dopamine naturally. This leads to emotional lows when you're sober. Hopefully, this educational video will work as a prevention for some regarding drugs and addiction. And now, you should be more aware of what dopamine is doing when you feel the pleasure when eating and getting massages. Thank you for your time and ears.